time of the year, I'm afraid, for waifs and strays, including this little character, if I can get it out of its pouch, which is a very beautiful thing, a baby possum. And it's a baby female. Let go, let go. Come on, come on. Be careful you don't force them too hard and break things because they're really quite strong but delicate nonetheless. Here we go. Okay, there's a, there we are, baby possum. And if I turn it over, you'll be able to see that it's a little female because right in the tum, which hasn't yet got a lot of fur, you'll notice there's a little pit and that's the pouch coming on. There we are, just in there. Okay. It's actually a baby ringtail, and you can tell by the way it's curled around my finger how it gets the name. That tail can curl up into a very definite spiral or ring. And so it's a baby ringtail, the white tip gives it away as a ringtail. The brush tail, the other common one, is grey and furry all the way down. Well this one is about the stage of leaving the pouch and crawling around on the mother. Didn't do too good a job, it fell off and was found underneath a tree last weekend. So I've now got it to rear it. And the three things for rearing it needs is, uh, well, really food, milk, and uh, solid food later, a decent pouch, and a cleaning up process that's quite un uh, unusual and interesting amongst the marsupials. But first, the food. How do we put it in? Well, first of all, what is the food? It's uh, evaporated milk from a can, made up into ordinary strength, and then diluted a bit more, put some honey in it, a little bit, and enough multivitamin stuff to make the milk go slightly yellow. And that's a good mixture for young possums. Then you dunk it into water until it's nice and warm, tip a bit out and use an eyedropper to feed it to the possum. And here we go, we've got to test the uh, temperature, otherwise you could scald it. It should be just the right sort of warmth on your wrist so you don't really feel it. And that's about perfect. Wipe it off and here we go. Where's the possum? Here we go. Now to feed it, it's a funny sort of thing. It uh, sort of scribbles around a bit, so you have to hold it gently without crushing it and to stop the food getting in the fur, which would make it all go gummy and nasty, tuck a napkin under the chin. This one was fed not long ago, probably won't perform for you, but the milk is just introduced into the lips there and it should leak a little bit. Well, not terribly interested as I thought. It's given up and it's going exploring. But you feed it about every three or four hours at this stage anyway, and if it wants the food, it'll take it. More interesting, perhaps, for marsupial study is the fact that the mother has to cope with a creature that's living in a pouch. And you can imagine if it did what most babies do and let all the wastes go, the pouch would be very nasty indeed. So the mother comes along periodically and goes to the other end and just stimulates it a bit, usually with her tongue. And that means that any wastes that are in the possum are relieved and got rid of without lying in the pouch. That means it doesn't lie in its own muckery and get itself unclean. Seems a bit funny to us, but it's a very useful sort of behavioural trick if you happen to have a baby that lives inside a little bag on your tum. Well, those are two of the three things. The third is the bag. But before we put it away, let's see what makes the possum tick. Notice it's got huge feet. A kitten of that size, or a puppy of that size, doesn't have feet nearly as big. But this one has to do its own hanging on. The mother doesn't worry about it. The baby either hangs on or it doesn't and if it falls off, the mother doesn't go looking. So if you're gonna hang on to mum, you really need enormous feet to do it with. And the back feet, you can see there, have a little sort of thumb, rather like the thumb on our hand, but it's on the back feet of the possum. And the fore feet have the same sort of feet that a koala has, two thumbs and three fingers. Both of those, the hind foot thumb and the fore foot two thumbs, are very good things for hanging onto branches, which is, of course, what the possum does for most of its life and it does it with the tail too. Well, this one's a bit sick of me, and it's sick of the bright lights, and it wants to go home. So we'll shove it back in its little pouch. It's torn between going back to a pouch, which is the baby trick, and hanging on to the fur, which is about the stage it's got to now. Here we go. 